An electrical circuit is a path around which an electrical current can flow to make something work. All electrical circuits need a power source or a battery. A break in a circuit will stop the flow of electricity. Here, the break in the circuit is causing the light to go out. Play-Doh contains salt and water, which, when mixed together, make a good conductor of electricity. Plasticine doesn't allow electricity to pass through it, so we call this an insulator. We're going to investigate electrical circuits using Play-Doh and plasticine. You will need two 3 volt button batteries, a battery holder, five LEDs of different colours, Play-Doh, which is conductive or allows electricity to pass through it, plasticine and a plastic Play-Doh cutter, which are both non-conductive or insulators, which means they don't allow electricity to pass through. And for decoration, you'll have some feathers, a pipe cleaner and some googly eyes. Ask an adult to open the batteries. Keep these away from young children. Open the battery holder and insert the batteries. You'll notice that each battery has a positive end and a negative end. Use the symbols inside the battery holder to make sure you put them in correctly. Switch your battery holder on. Make sure you switch it off when you aren't using it. Use the crocodile clips to connect your wires to the metal ends of the wires on the battery holder. Can you guess why these are called crocodile clips? The full name for an LED is a light emitting diode. You'll notice that they have one long leg and one shorter. The long leg is the positive leg and the shorter one is negative. When you stretch the legs, take care not to snap them. Use your equipment to make a simple circuit as shown in the diagram. Your wires might be different colours but that won't matter. If your LED doesn't light up first time, try changing the LED around so that the legs are in a different position in the circuit. Follow the diagram to make a series circuit. What do you notice when you add an extra LED? Try removing an LED. What happens? Why does that happen? Roll two pieces of Play-Doh into sausages and connect three LEDs to make a parallel circuit. What do you notice about the brightness of the LEDs now? Follow the diagram to make a switch with your Play-Doh. Can you explain why the switch is turning the LED on and off? Now it's time to make a circuit cake. Use a plastic Play-Doh cutter or some plasticine 
to make a non-conductive barrier between your Play-Doh. Make sure the pieces of Play-Doh aren't touching or you'll get a short circuit. Time to get creative and make some light up models. We'd love to see your creations. Here are some of our ideas, but I'm sure you'll have lots more. Good luck. <laughs>